Welcome to The Daily Dose for Monday, May 18th. We are in a pretty crazy season right now, and I am trying to coach myself, and I use scripture to do that. I am coming across, and maybe you can relate to this, lots of different opinions on every single topic under the sun. We knew going into 2020 that this was going to be an election year, and we know that the discourse in America over politics is really ugly, and it was going to be especially bad this year because of the election coming up. Now you add to it that everyone's frustrated with the coronavirus season, and you get all this differing information. I know that I'm coming across a lot of different opinions all the time, and my goal is to respond, not to react. There are things that I'm going to hear, there's things that you're going to hear that's going to generate an emotional uh, feeling inside of you. And you're going to have a choice at that moment. Are you going to respond well to that? Or are you just going to react to whatever that makes you feel? And I am so thankful I have come across two scriptures in 2 Timothy chapter 2 that I am putting out there. I'm even memorizing them because I know I need to continue to be reminded of these. Let's look at it together. We are in 2 Timothy 2, starting with verse 14. Paul tells his protege, Keep reminding God's people of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words. Quarreling about words, it is of no value. It only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. And look at verse 16. Avoid godless chatter, because those who indulge in godless chatter become more and more ungodly. That's just the warm-up. Skip to verse 23. I love this. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels. They bring division into relationship. The Lord's servant, if you want to be the Lord's servant, you must not be quarrelsome. But instead, you must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Opponents, your opponents who have different views than you, they must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth that they will come to their senses and escape the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. And so the question during this crazy election year and this coronavirus season is, do you want to win your friend or do you want to win an argument with your friend? Is your goal to win your friend? Then it's going to require a different strategy than if you're just trying to win an argument with your friend. You have to ask yourself, is there going to be fruit at the end of this debate, or is there just going to be a strained or broken relationship at the end of it? I know when I'm able to be gentle and patient, I'm way more effective for Christ in my home. When I'm uh, patient and gentle, I'm way more effective online. And when I'm patient and gentle, I'm way more effective in the world. Don't let emotions and the frustrations of the news today and the different opinions out there get you to fall into foolish and stupid arguments. As you go about your day, may you respond well. Have a great day.